Welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War, Malvern Hill. This would be a decisive battle. <laughs> if I win, you know. But if I lose, well, the Confederates lost this battle because they attacked a heavily for uh, fortified position. Anyway, I, uh, I did some tweaking. I sold some of my supplies, a lot of my supplies actually, to get more soldiers. So I have 32,000 soldiers versus 31,000 soldiers. After our last fight, the Yankees were forced to withdraw. They are preparing to leave from Harrison's Landing a few miles out southward. Now we have the chance to advance and completely destroy them. General McCullen uh, is so cautious that half of his army is guarding Harrison's Landing and some miles southward. Probably he thinks he is outnumbered. We have concentrated most of our army to seize Malvern's Hill that guards their right flank. If we succeed at pushing them back, all will be lost for them. Their flank will collapse and we will chase them down to the James River till no one escapes. The bulk of their defenses uh, are stationed at the foot of Malvern Hill. They are waiting for us with heavy artillery support to advance on open ground. It is very risky to attack the west side of Malvern Hill. The ground is swampy and our soldiers will be shot dead before they even reach the hill. Attacking the east side is not a good idea either. There are a few passable river sections and we will lose a lot too many men trying to climb the edgy cliffs problem is you can't even actually you can't even attack there because you don't have any crossing to get to that stone bridge although heavily fortified their center is the weakest point and we must breach it prepared to attack all right their defensive position strong our staff officers advise to soften them up with artillery until all our forces can join the fight Okay, we can cross fire, all right, we can position artillery there, not that I will, and from here we can bombard the east side of the hill. That's what I am going to do, I'm going to position all my artillery right there on that hill to beat the live or living crap out of them. So here's the problem, you do have this stone bridge, you don't have access to it from the beginning because the map is limited early on. But the problem with that stone bridge is that you can't actually reach it. So what's the fucking point, really? You can't even reach the goddamn thing. Anyway, so I'm going to take all my artillery, all three of them, and I'm going to march them uh, over there. I'm going to tell take Nelson uh, and Jackson, I think. And call well, uh, Iverson will go... There, then we'll stay there. Phelps. How did I? <laughs> so. Uh, uh. Oh. So you need to press in the middle of the unit to be able to rotate them, okay. Alright. Wallace goes on that side, Wilcox on the other side. Kemper right there, Carry, and so be it. So the goal here will be to attack Heck. I'm not rushed in this one. Well, obviously I do have a lot of time limit. There's always a goddamn time limit. Alright. So what I'm going to do is take all of my units here and assault the enemy position.
And with these units, what uh, the goal is to take Malvern Hill. The problem is they have a very strong defensive position, especially on the left side. On the right side, eh, they have the woods here. And there are some... There's a defensive position in present there as well. So, uh, I'm gonna split some uh, skirmishers, send them take this. I've tried this battle several times. It is a bitch. It's a battle the Confederates actually lost. They won the, you know, I fought the previous battle and the campaign that I was fighting is the one that they lost. No, it's this one that they lost. And that's because, <laughs> well, let me just put it like this, a full frontal assault against an entrenched enemy position in this time period? Yeah, that's suicide. So with all my artillery in position, I'll start bombarding them. Yes, there is enemy artillery there. I'm not concerned about that too much. I'm concerned more so about the fact that I'm going to be dealing with a literal wall of enemies. I do have this cavalry. Of course, the cavalry is going to be... Once I break their lines, and I have to break their lines, I, I'll, use, I'll use the cavalry to follow up take out some of their artillery. Though it's gonna be more later on. Okay, I need to soften them, them up a bit. Actually, not just a bit. Right, once my guys are in position, and my general is also there to provide moral support.
reinforcements. So I've broken through uh, the right flank. Now I need to push forward, sweep through the center, which is not going to be easy, uh, and then win the battle. They got their reinforcements.
It's a long slaughter. Oh, I lost my colonel right there. It doesn't. The Yankees could not find a better defensive ground. That's for sure. <laughs> well, we've broken through. We've taken the goddamn hill. The problem is we need to take these two as well and hold them. So it's not just a case of rushing.
it's a problem. I really need to get some troops down there. The problem is how? Come on, come on, damn it, I'm gonna lose a lot of men to this bloody shit. As long as I win, that's all that matters. My army will be decimated, I'll have to fill it all with recruits and new generals and all that, but given, given the victory here, given the fact that I was in a really bad position, I say I take it. 14, come on, 13. I'm gonna break. Nine, eight, six, five. What the hell are these guys doing? D -d Does he just want to die? One. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, Forrester just died in the last goddamn moment. Wounded. Uh, two deceased. Okay. Some promoted. Acceptable. Really goddamn fucking acceptable. Um, yeah, I lost more units than he did, but I will recover that from... Uh, from all the money that I just got. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. I got pounded. Unfortunately, this time around, there's no other way around this. I'm gonna lose a lot of combat effectiveness. Ah, damn it. Okay, this time, <laughs> I need to think exactly what I do, not just do it in the last moment of the battle. Well, obviously I need to pick some generals, but uh, that's an easy affair. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did I got pulverized in that? Oh, I lost my cavalry. Damn. That's. I'll have to redo all of this. Costine signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Stay tuned for more.